and welcome back so so far what we have is a few folders and a few and one file actually the index.php page and so let's add a few more files here so the first file we're going to add is something of security so we're going to go to the app folder because this folder contains all our favorite or important files so i'm going to load my uh, make sure zamp apache and mysql are on okay so type localhost eshop or whatever folder it is that you put your uh, your content and then i'm going to type up at the end here and so this is showing us what's inside the app folder so this is not very secure so in order to secure this so that nobody can see what's in there we're going to right click on app create a new file and type options minus indexes and save this file so this is going to be an ht access file so i'm going to say dot ht access and hit save so once i do that if now i refresh i'm going to get access forbidden which is good so let's go back to our uh, eshop and then go to the public folder now this one doesn't show the list of folders and files in there and that's because there's actually a um, there's an index.php file inside it so this is one more way of securing your folders if you don't want somebody to read what's inside the folder you can put an, an empty index.php file all right so let's put one more ht access file in the public folder so let me explain why we need that so if i go to the public folder and refresh this is my home page of course uh, let me actually type something here let me close this one and let me type something here i will say echo this is the home page just so we can uh, see something so there we go this is the home page great but if i type something at the end here because this is the index.php page right it, we are still on the index page but if i put a slash and type some other text at the end here um oh it's still index.php so let me do that i'm going to get object not found so what i want us to do instead is i want the whole website to be simply the index page itself so every request regardless what the user types inside the url i want it to go through the index page now this is important because i want to be able to control the whole website using just one page which is the index page and then the second reason we are doing this is because we want to create clean urls here we don't want to be putting question marks in here uh, for query strings and all that we just want to have um, we want to have urls like this <coughs> excuse me uh, website for example website slash home slash index or slash product something like this this is what we want we don't want to have uh, urls like website dot php and then question mark u is equal to and so on and so on so these are not very clean urls these are more human readable so this is the kind of thing we want and in order to achieve that we have to cheat the system a little bit so that's what we're going to do now so to achieve that we will do um we'll put an ht access file which will control how requests are handled so right now you see this one is saying object not found so if i refresh it's still saying object not found but let's fix that in a little bit so i have a little bit of code here let's create a new file we're going to create this in the public folder new file and i have a bit of code that i typed here just to not to waste some time so this is the code you have to copy and write into your system so this is simply telling the rewrite engine to switch on just to make sure it's on and then this one is saying uh, the condition if a file if somebody types a file path in here it should ignore that it should uh, give them access same thing with a folder so ignore actual files and folders but then rewrite everything else so here what it's saying is that 
beginning to end whatever is inside there send it to the index.php page and then whatever query string is there send it to this url to this uh, variable right here so this variable url is going to contain the first item which is whatever is inside the query string there so everything will be shoved through the index.php page okay so once you write this copy it as it is and then hit save and then in here we're going to say dot ht access and hit save great so once we do this if now i go here and refresh the page i still see this is the home page so that error is gone so it's not possible to have page not found at this point because whatever i type at the end here it's still going to just send it to the index page so this is awesome this is what we need now let me close that now to prove that uh, everything is being shoved into the get variable i'm going to tell it to echo the get variable right now so i'm just going to say uh, print readable print r there we go so here print r underscore get like so and then we're going to say url because that's the the variable that we told it to send everything in there so if i refresh the page now you see uh, one moment so let me put a break tag there so we can see these uh, much better okay so now as you can see everything from index going whatever is inside here is being sent to this variable right there and that's what we want so we're going to create our own router to to send the user to a specific page that has been requested by the url that's what we're going to do now okay so so far since we've done this uh let me close that let me delete this rather so what i will do now instead is to include a file so i'm just going to say include now the file we're going to include will be inside the app folder so to go a step up from pub the public folder i'm going to type two dots like that dot dot and then say app because we're going inside the app folder and in there we're going to create a file called init.php and then very important at the top here i'm going to say session start because we want to be using sessions in here so session start init like so and uh, that should be enough now before we go any further i'm going to create the init file before i forget so let me go to app.php new file and hit save this one will be init.php so that we don't have an error when we run this so inside here now the thing is inside the init we're going to include some more files now the reason i've done it this way i could have included these files inside the the index page directly there but i want this one file to contain all the included files that i need so how it's going to work is that any file that is inside the core folder here should be included here that way this init file will have all these lines with includes 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 and then we're just going to include the whole file inside the index page like that okay so the file now it's important to note that even though this init file is inside the app folder since we're including it inside the index page so every include is referencing the index page so you still have to use this dot dot app init.php so it's like you are the whole website is inside the public folder even if we're including from a file that is already inside the app folder we still have to do this so now instead of uh, here we're going to put core like that and then let's put a file name here so there are a few files that we're going to require in here the first one is app.php so let's create that file inside the core folder so hit save and this one is app.php okay so let's put some php tags in there all right so so far the index page includes the init file the init file includes the core.php which is that one so let's try and refresh 
and then we see no errors it means everything went well so let's add a few more files before we move to the next video so in core here I'll add a few more files so I'll click here so you can see this app.php now if I right click I'm going to create another file called functions.php so functions.php and then we will need one more file which is the database so I'm going to create new and save and this one will be database.php and save so now if I go to or oh, we're going to need one more actually controller.php so let me create a new one save controller.php okay great so now since we've added all these files in core.php we need to go to the init file and add them here so we'll put up there we're going to put uh, functions.php uh, or maybe we should have started with uh, db but really the order doesn't really matter so database.php maybe it does matter sometimes i'm not sure i think i'll leave up for the last part what else have i, I added controller okay so we have functions we have controller we have database we have app so we have everything we need in here and the files are right here which is very very good so we won't be needing db for now or controller what we will be dealing with is the app to begin with so if i go back here and refresh as long as i don't see any errors it means everything is working fine okay so in the next video we're going to create the app class in here so that we can uh, have a working app see you then